Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk a little more about uh, REST2D mode software. In the new version of REST2D mode software, we have the capability to use, uh, you know, uh, to use uh, the topography uh, and incorporate topography into our forward models, as well as using boreholes uh, in our, you know, forward models, which is amazing. Uh, now I'm going to discuss about the new version of this. Rest 2D mode. So you you want to have this software, you should go to geotomosoft.com and then you have to go to the download section and you should just scroll down to, uh, in fact, uh, get to this Rest 2D mode and Rest 3D mode. Rest 2D mode, we're going to emphasize on this. And the newest version is 3.03 or six so we're going i have downloaded this and uh, i want to mention that there are a lot of other information and uh, there are a lot of other uh you know files available for you especially the tutorial notes uh, that is uh, you know updated uh, regularly and it is amazing a reference for learning ERT i advise you to have a look at it it is amazing and now when you download the file it has these uh, these files inside inside it this is the setup which you install on your system and uh, this uh, in this file topo you have two examples of topography uh, you know the uh, import the files to import with topography and this is some examples to boreholes now i'm going to have a look at the files that I have prepared. Well, this is the, um, in fact, the data that we had in section session number five. I have described in detail the meaning of these parameters that that, that is also available on the manuals of the REST 2D mode. So I know I'm not going to uh, discuss about them more. And now after the, you know, final data that we used to import as the array type which is one indicative of the winner array you should insert a few zeros and then indicate uh, you have the capability to import topography data points and in the topography data points the first uh, number is indicative of surface distances or true horizontal distances so it's not going to be um, very much different into forward modeling I assume so I insert a 2 and uh, this is the number of uh, topography data points and in fact we need to import and we have to indicate all of our data points elevations in the forward modeling to uh, avoid any kind of error in the software so as you remember we had 101 electrodes so we will have 101 uh, data points and we the unit electrode spacing was two meter so now we know that our section will start from zero and will end in 200 so it be the x values or the, the you know, distance values from zero to 200 which is 101 data points and this is the elevations that I have just selected uh, to use the topography and I'm going to just plot these elevation values, which is good all the time, as a prior check uh, to you know before going to the software. And you see that you know we have uh, a topography high in the middle of the uh, section, and uh, it is not that you know it is exaggerated. In fact, the horizontal and vertical uh, scales are totally different. Okay, so this is the file that I have prepared, and I have called it Topo. You will save it as a text file and you will just rename it with dot mode at the end so you will be able to open it in rest 2d mode software now i am going to open this file in rest 2d mode software this is the new version that has the capability to have 295 electrodes it is improved with respect to previous previous version and it is good so i'm going to import my file so this is my topo file and i don't know why it is not inverted i have to i think i should close the file in the excel to be able to import it without any problem 
So this is the topo and now it is inserted. So you will see the information of your file. You have to you always have to check these files to ensure that everything is uh, what it is meant to be. Uh, we have topography present and in fact this, uh, the surface distances between electrodes are used in the file. Okay. You go to edit and uh, the display uh, model and you see that this is model the topography incorporated in the uh, in fact model I'm going to edit the file as I have discussed in the previous video I'm going to zoom uh, the 300 of meter resistivity of the background medium and I'm going to have a resistive dike or a wane uh, in in this model to see the you know effect of these variations so I'm going to have a kind of in fact uh, dipping resistive or conductive I prefer it to be resistive uh, in this case to see the response of this structure in the presence of in the situation that we have uh, a topography like this and the topography has a severe impact on our resistivity or IP models um, like in any other kind of geophysical data uh, responses. Topography is a very important parameter and in fact affects our response too much. So in this case it's something like a dipping uh, structure and I assume that it has a resistivity of 5000 oh meters. So we want to receive a response, you should uh, in fact go to the edit, changing the array type and I prefer to use the, in fact, the uh, venetia lomberger array in this case I'm going to assume the number of A spacings to 10 to have the maximum of 20 meter of A spacing and N values, I assume the 10 would be the maximum number of N values in this array and I'm not going to put any further constraints in the number of, uh, to have a higher number of data points and the model computation we need to calculate potential values so the software will be able to provide our response. Now we go to the display model and this is the model. So it's something uh, looks like a bit noisy so if we decrease the number of the data points would be more such uh, a bit of a more realistic in fact so we go to edit menu again change array type and I will decrease the number of values to uh, 3 and now we will have so much better uh, uh, sort of section. So let's take a look at it again and this is the uh, in fact the response in the sort of section plot. So again it implies the unsuitability of the sort of section for direct data interpretations and uh, I would like to emphasize that in this new uh, version of the study mode you can also calculate 2D sensitivity sections which is amazing and also calculate the parallel sensitivity for non-standard arrays I'm not going to talk a lot about that I, I just wanted to uh, have a quick look on the use of a uh, new version of this software and incorporating topography into our follow-up models in fact whenever we are dealing with a survey and we want to uh, in fact design a kind of survey uh, uh, ERT survey we should always try follow-up modeling to see whether we will be successful in detecting the anomalies or not